All right, I'm going to show you how to do this problem on the calculator. This is an optimization problem, so it's a perfect one to be done on the calculator. So let's get started. First, let's go ahead and restate the equation as y equals 4 over x. Um, and then that is going to be the hyperbola equation, basically y equals 1 over x, but pushed out a little bit from the origin. So we are trying to minimize the distance from the origin to the curve. And no matter which branch of the curve we choose, it will be the same distance because of the symmetry in the curve. So I like to just work in the first quadrant with positive numbers. So the two points that we're trying to find the distance between are the origin and the point x, 4 over x. So to write an expression for the distance, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have the square root of x minus 0 squared plus 4 over x minus 0 squared. So it's really the distance formula. Now I don't want to differentiate by hand, so this is where I'm going to bring in the calculator. And let's type in first what's underneath the radical. So I have x squared plus, and then I have 4 divided by x quantity squared. And that leaves me with x squared plus 16 over x squared. But don't forget the square root. I always like to do this in stages and just go grab the expression and bring it in just to make sure I did it right. So here is our expression. Now I need to differentiate it. So I go to F3 calculus, choice 1, differentiate, go grab my expression and hit enter, comma x to tell it to differentiate with respect to x. Close the parentheses and hit enter. And there is my crazy derivative. That's why I didn't want you differentiating by hand. So now I need to solve for where the derivative equals 0. So I go to F2, Algebra, and I hit the Solve button. I'm going to go grab the expression, hit Enter, and then set it equal to 0, comma x to tell it that x is my independent variable, and hit Enter. And I get 2 or negative 2. Remember, though, we were just in the first quadrant. So 2 is really the only answer I need. So now I need... Um, I need to do a number line analysis. So I come back over here and let's put my f prime on the screen with 2 as the point where we have a critical point. And I'm going to stop this here at 0 because I'm only dealing with the first quadrant. So let's try plugging in a 1 into the derivative equation. So let's go back to our calculator. And remember, this was our derivative. So let's hit enter to bring it into this line. And then I want an x, I want a such that key, the vertical line is such that, x equals 1. And I get out a negative number. So I come back over to my number line, and I, oops, I type in, or I plug in, that it is a negative number. So now we go back to the calculator, and we're going to plug in a value greater than 2, say 3. Use the right arrow to come to the end, backspace, hit 3, and enter you find out you have a positive number. So coming back to your number line, we go negative to positive. So that means I have a local minimum. So that means where x equals 2, I actually have my minimum distance. So what is that distance? Well, I can plug 2 into this equation. But since I have my calculator, I'm going to do it on my calculator. So I scroll all the way back up, scroll up to where I had initially put in my function, which was here, and evaluate it such that x equals 2, enter, and I get out 2 rad 2, so my answer is D.